G'day, it's Guesty here. Well, this is my new 679 Stacer Ocean Ranger hardtop. Fantastic vessel. That's what we're filming all of our offshore work out for this series of real action. Comes on a big aluminium trailer, uh, dual axle trailer, four wheel electric hydraulic brakes. So you can certainly stop if you've got to pull up in a hurry when you're towing it. Down the back here, we've got trim tabs either side so you can level the boat out in any sea conditions. Then got a burly bucket here. Got some burly jammed in there ready for a fishing session this afternoon and to power it along the big new G2 Evinrude E-Tech. So an amazing engine this one. Uh, 225 horsepower, four blade stainless steel prop to push it along. And it's got this unbelievable uh, rigging system here where the engine just pivots off this rigging block. So there's no steering ram if you have a look there. No cables to be dragging around. An absolutely amazing engine and uh, fuel economy that is just incredible. Once we get up inside, Aluminium checker plate floor, so you're not going to slide around. We've got two big deep side pockets to put the net and gaff, and obviously we have our underwater cameras and things stored in there. Big uh, bait table at the back, which is ideal, so you can hold on to that in some rough conditions. We've got five rod holders across the back, and then lots of storage up under here for things like knives and pliers and other bits and pieces of tackle as well. Over in the corner, live bait tank, which is absolutely crucial. So it's quite a big one, this one, and it's, uh, it's got a, another pickup when we're driving along, which forces water in there. Then I've got the switch to turn that pump on. Gives our live squid, mackerel, yellowtail, and all those sorts of things. Across the top here, we've got our pivoting rocket launchers, which is just great. So they can fold down so this boat actually fits in my shed, and uh, we can rack all our rods up there out the way. So I've got rod holders right along the side here to take those big game rods. So they're all welded in. So there's one, two, three aside. Then I've got my outrigger plates here for, for trolling for game fish. So we can put our out, outriggers out. Couple of comfy seats, one for the passenger and an important one for me, that's the driver. Couple of tackle storage lockers down under here where we can store some tackle. And uh, EPIRB fire ex extinguishers. So all of that safety gear come up the front. Kill tank, got a great big kill tank here. So if you're gonna keep a couple of fish, you can drop them in there. and let them bleed out. More storage underneath those seat boxes, which is crucial. Big 10 inch hummingbird sounder at the front and our electronic Evinrude control panel that gives me all of the bits and pieces about uh, fuel level, oil levels, uh, voltage, uh, speed, fuel usage, all that cool stuff all comes out of there. Hydraulic steering, a couple of sliding windows here either side. Uh, we've got our, our VHF radio, certainly to log on with uh, the local marine rescue base when we go out. A couple of grab handles here, so when the passengers are hanging on, We've got uh, our little spotlights up the top here too, so we can light the deck up. Underneath the floor there, we've got 215 litre fuel tank, so I can, I can certainly uh, go on a nice trip. There's plenty of room to have a camp in here, roll your swag out on the deck, and if you want to get it around the front, got these non-slip pads, so I can walk around the front, big bow rail, and a nice big deep anchor well. Then inside the cabin, we've got truckloads of storage, so I've actually taken uh, one of the side panels off there, and we've got all sorts of things stowed in here, all that camera equipment that we need uh, to make television, but I've got to tell you, it's a fantastic boat. I've had it from Fraser Island out off Sydney, you name it, up and down the coast, uh, going over coastal bars, big, deep, high sides. So when you're fishing, you can lean in against them. And uh, for me, it's, it's just the perfect boat.